All right, you guys, I am on my last shopping trip before Christmas. I leave for the heart of Ohio tomorrow. I am super excited about it. Uh, lots of surprises in store for me as well. I have no idea what the plan is. All I know is I'm doing my cat catathon road trip on the way there where I only buy cats. It's freezing out here. Let's go in. I'm at Memory Lane in Hagerstown, Maryland. Is going on with this bottle red glass perfume that's really different looks contemporary and I see the uh, cats back here $20 that's a little steep for me hmm not much else these are fun the little what are they fox heads or bear heads I can't tell 15 a little close again I am really looking for that special something uh, the more I see the harder it gets to switch it up which is kind of fun I love this cranberry basket even though I don't normally do glass baskets glass baskets are kind of a tanker honestly but that one's pretty exceptional and I love the Christmas mice $30 for the pair definitely too close for me these aisles I usually find some really great stuff uh, the prices are usually pretty good now I cannot help but notice this one this one is 45 but she's spectacular oh my gosh that's so tempting how much is the one with the bonnet I love that other one though that one's 45 yeah this one is just like really exceptional it's a little close for me i know i could make some money off of it but i'm not sure if i'm willing to spend that much up front let's see what about this this is kind of cool made in occupied japan ten dollars and fifty cents that's not bad at all see the moon and stars like this cut the clear style with the dots and all kinds of shakers. Now this is the first pair that sticks out to me. $4.50 for the Nodding Skulls. That is an amazing deal. These are hard to find at a good price. Wow, I cannot believe that. That's a steal. I'll take those. And you know I see these chicks. These are at Norcrest, I believe. $4.50. I think I last sold these for like 60 something dollars, honestly. I'm gonna grab those. And then, you know, I love the baked potatoes. Those are too fun. For $4.50, why not? They got the butter and everything. They're buttered up. These are contemporary, but very fun. What about the uh, magnetic googly-eyed pigs? $3.50. Again, no-brainer at that price. Let's shake it up here. We got the uh, ice cream set. That's Fun, $3.50, again a steal. Those come in all plastic as well. Uh, I mean, uh, glass and metal. But you know, I'm a fan of the plastics. Now these I don't see a price tag on. Um, I'm wondering if they'll do something. I'll put them in my basket just in case they can see that they're all around the same price. What about the penguins? Those are $3.50, I love that they're correct. Usually I just see the two male penguins. I'll grab those. And the little red riding hoods, my gosh. I can't believe I almost left those. $3.50 for those, those are a steal. Let's see, what else am I missing? I feel like I'm missing a lot. I see the, uh, the RCA dogs, those are $5. That's a good deal, but not as crazy about them the baby and the stork that's fun now down here you see this cat that's a fun one eight dollars and fifty cents as is what's wrong with it it's got some weird weird damage i've never seen damage like that i'm gonna put that back and then what is this is this wedgwood six dollars wedgwood vase I don't think that it's Wedgwood. I think that's a knockoff. I think that's left in actually because of the number on the back. Oh my God, bottom. Oh my gosh, look at these. These are so fun. This is uh, probably the same. I'm not sure. $2.50, I'm gonna leave it. What is this back here? It's like a little cat bottle. American Sugar Company. 
sugar cinnamon, $7. That's really different. And we've got another little section by this vendor. What about these little votives? Pair for $3.50. They're contemporary, but for $3.50 for the pair, kind of can't go wrong. I'm going to take those. Oh my gosh, my basket's getting super full. What about this blue glass apple? $2. It's got the sharp edge on it, though. Here's another contemporary piece that I kind of love. Oh, it's sealed with a kiss. $16, no discount. I'm not sure, that might be a little close. Oh, tempting. Now, this Plum Opalescent Hobnail. I know that Plum Opalescent is pretty desirable. $63 and 15% off. I'm gonna do some math on that. Yeah, so it comes to like $55 each. I don't know, man. It's pretty tempting. I don't think I'd make much off of it, though. Oh, this is so tempting. Look at this. It's really cool. So tempted. Again, it's one of those things where I don't think I'd lose money on it, but... Um, I might end up breaking even after all the fees. Now, this booth is crazy. It's 75% off. Like, look at this Victorian piece. Really, really requires some attention. Look, a little uh, Lucite Owl. $12, 75%. I feel like that's a no-brainer. Can't lie, I'm still kind of considering picking up one of those plum up lessons and I, I know it's a close call but i kind of want to do it just for fun whoa do they know yeah they know dang oh my freaking gosh okay <laughs> well first of all look at these guys holt howard set of four 1967 20 percent off eggnog cups so let me do some math here wow epic finds today yeah you know what i'm not seeing these online 1967 hold howard the paint is in amazing condition it comes to like 15 dollars each it's like 14 and some change yeah i think i'm kind of obligated to get these now this one has a hairline this one has a hairline i'm wondering if they know that this one's completely cracked actually uh, I might see if they can call them and know that they've got one completely cracked. No. Let's see. What else is here? What is this? The Christmas tree. Candle holders. These are cool. Two for 14. Oh, huh. those are really different. I'm like, look at this little pixie. She's, it's whatever it is, $20. That's a bit close. Yeah, I don't know if they are aware that this one's completely cracked. So I'm going to see if they can call. I usually don't. $16. This is Hold Howard too. If I'm not mistaken, it's super repaired though. And what's down here? Japan. Thir 23. Look at this. It's like a. Oh, Avon. That's weird. And then I see the little Santa yo-yo. Hello. Made in Hong Kong. $10. So fun. Santa yo-yo in the original packaging, too. Bradford. These kind of stand out. I was about to walk away, and then I did a double take. Holland Viking Blue. Those are cute. $10 each. Well, really like eight. Yeah, let me see if I can give them a call about this uh, eggnog set. On my way up to the counter, uh, this caught my eye. This is really different looking. Murano style vase, 28 bucks. It's really cool. I don't know, that might be too much for me to pay up front. So I've got them giving me a call, uh, giving the vendor a call 
Hopefully that works out. Yeah, I feel like they're usually pretty good at ri about writing as is, so I don't know if they're aware that one's cracked. I'm not really too keen on paying for that much for three of them. Um, but if they took a little off, maybe. This is fantastic. Look at this. Mermaid bowl, $15. kind of love it again I think it's one of those things where I wouldn't lose money is there a discount in this booth it's just so fun Mexican paper mache mermaid bowl I might look it up just to make sure there's not a bunch of these online although I never see this style yeah so I'm definitely gonna so I'm definitely going to pick this up. The cheapest one is like $36 or whatever, and it ships from the UK for some insane amount. Now, what is this? Sweden. Swedish girl. That's very strange, isn't it? And then, look, the little cast metal wee boy. Oh my gosh. Stop it right now. Five bucks. I'll take that. That's hilarious. Can't lie, that plum on plus and mole uh, vase is still bothering me. Oh, that's super broken. Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's still bothering me. It's like one of those things where I really don't think there's any chance of me losing money. It's just a matter of making money. And it kind of seems exciting. I'm thinking I might, uh, thinking I might go pick it up. At least one of them, just for fun. Well, walking back to go get it. I saw something that I did not pick up on before. Um, the little Limoges trinket box and dish. I really like the trinket box. It comes to $10 after the discount. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I feel like that's a safe bet. Um, as for the dish, it's only $5. Oh, $5. That's so cheap, though. Somebody probably wants this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. But why not pick up the mirror as well? I've had the mirror before, but after the discount, it comes to like $7. Let's get crazy. Uh, also, now I'm just seeing this little art glass pin cushion guy. That's fantastic. What does that come to after the discount? Yeah, he comes to $5 and he's got a little beret on. I feel like, I feel like I'll take that. All right. Let's just... 63 yeah that's a lot to pay it comes to like 55 but still i've never gotten to buy and sell one before all right i'm living a little i don't think i'm gonna lose money on it it comes to five, 55 dollars when all is said and done also i'm just now seeing that there is a duck with what appears to be some type of pickle coming out of the ground <laughs> interesting so they did say they'd go down to 50 for all. So that comes to so like 16. To that. Yeah, 16 and some change each. And then a freebie that's got a hairline. But you know what? I found some really, really unique stuff today. And my cost average is awesome. I got those flamingos for $3.50. I'm just going for it. And as I was checking out, I saw this. This says Fenton Divided Dish. The bottom does glow. I actually think this is Viking, not Fenton. I could be mistaken, but it comes to $10 after the discount because it's 50% off. So I kind of feel like, let's do it. What a fabulous box. I spent $209 in there. I got some real treasures, some real unique stuff. Holt Howard and uh, Plum Up Lesson, even though I paid a little much for it. What do you think, Santa? Is it time to head to our next stop? 